also in order to mount the top half of the helicopter to the engine bracket I needed to make a couple more brackets uh, this one's already done, came out just fine I'm going to make another one um, so I start out with a piece of raw stock and uh, I've got two holes that are indexed use my uh, knee mill and the digital readout do the indexing and drilling and then I'll bolt that down into the CNC and we'll cut that out okay so I got that piece of raw stock mounted up into the CNC machine I went ahead and built a uh, real simple subplate out of some uh, Mike 6 Alcoa precision ground aluminum uh, plate that I had uh, the two big bolt holes on the outside those are what hold the subplate to the table and the T-slot and then the, uh, the smaller screws go into threaded holes into the plate and they're indexed to lay out with the part uh, to where the tool will miss them but also the holes will get utilized later and I'll I'll show you that when we get done with this using a, a 1 16th inch end mill to start and then be switching out to a uh, eighth inch end mill to uh, finish it off I'll go ahead and hit start make sure my rapid clearance is tall enough to miss that fixturing bolt. That's what I like about sheet cam. It shows all of the uh, rapid traverse lines and I saw one going right over the hole so I made sure to give a uh, 250,000 clearance so it passed over the top of it. Now it's on the finishing pass. Taking off 15 thousandths of an inch, full depth of cut at uh, 15 inches a minute, 4,500 RPM. I don't remember what the uh, chip loading was, but it could probably be better. I didn't put a whole lot of effort into optimizing speeds and feeds. Just wanted to get it cut out and get it down and see if it's going to fit. So I got both those brackets done. And the purpose of these is to go up on the main frame of the helicopter. You can see the area that's cut out. That's where the main gear and the tail rotor drive gear sit. And they actually protrude out the side. When the helicopter's flying, the center main shaft bearing is what supports everything below the rotor disc. So technically what is going on is all of the weight of the engine, helicopter, skids, everything is right on this one bearing on these uh, well four screws, two on each side everything hangs below that. So what I wanted to do was beef that up a little bit and so I built the bracket that goes around the area that the main gear sticks out 
and uh, just add a little bit of strength to that. And then these larger holes down here is what's going to mount to the uh, engine bracket. Um, as I said earlier, these two large holes are the indexed holes that I used to, to uh, keep the raw stock mounted on the subplate. Well, those are now going to go in place, and I'll drill this one out to the carbon fiber and add a bolt in the nut. This one, when I was placing that, I noticed that there was already a hole in the frame, and so I placed that hole in the exact same spot as that one, so I won't even have to drill it out. It'll just fit right in there. And there's nothing that is used for this square. Um, it's just it's just there. So uh, what I did is in another product that I make, I use these uh, little tiny slide switches. They're made by uh, CW. And since I'll need some electrical switches, I decided to uh, uh, mount one right there inside of that square hole as this bracket will uh, span over the hole a little bit. So a switch on each side. I think one of them is going to be the audio video transmitter switch uh, for the camera. And then another I'll probably use for the bind switch. I don't like plugging that little tiny plug in and out of the radio receiver all the time. So I'll just do a switch. Turn it on, bind. Once you're bound, turn it off and then you're good to go. So uh, what's left is I still need to do a uh, angle iron bracket that will match between these uh, top holes and those bottom holes and then I'm also going to do some strapping which will go from here to here and uh, well since I've got those holes already there I'll go s probably straight down and mount onto the side of that as well possibly I'll figure that out as I go but uh, that's where we're at at this point.